In this topic, we are going to learn how to find the standard deviation of group data using Casio FX95 SG Plus series calculator. What is standard deviation? Similar to range and interquartile range, standard deviation is another measure of spread. For instance, higher standard deviation means that the spread is greater. Here we have two groups of people, group A and group B. Each group has 5% each. If we measure the heights of these two groups, which group do you think will have a higher standard deviation? Yes, group A will have a higher standard deviation because the spread of their heights is greater. Now, standard deviation is the measure of the deviation of a set of data from its mean. And the formula is given by this. The four symbol here represents the summation, which means the adding up of. And hence, the summation of F means we add up all the frequency to give us the total frequency. Summation of Fx square means that we multiply each value of x square with its frequency and we add them all up. And this is how it will look like. We multiply the square of each value of x with its frequency and we add them all up. This is somewhat similar to how you find the numerator for mean. Now, what do you think is the summation of fx over the summation of f? Yes, it is known as the mean. And therefore, the standard deviation will measure the deviation of the data from its mean here. And this will give us a more accurate measure of spread. Here we have an example showing grouped data. For marks between 0 and 10, we have a frequency of 2. For marks between 10 and 20, we have a frequency of 6 and so on. And we are asked to find the standard deviation. Now, let us see how to find the standard deviation using this calculator here. First, we'll press the mode button, which will give us this screen here. And we'll press 2 for statistics. And we'll press 1, and this represents the standard deviation and this screen will appear. Now you'll notice that the frequency is missing here and to get that we'll have to press shift mode followed by the down key until you get this screen here and we'll press 4 and the calculator will ask you whether you want the frequency to be on or off. We'll press 1 to on the frequency and you can now input the table into the calculator. For the values of x, we'll use the midpoint for each of these class interval. Since the first x value for the mark is 5, we will key in 5 followed by equal. And we'll key in the next x value which is 15, 1, 5 followed by equal. The third x value is 25 and we'll press the equal button. Next, we'll press 35, followed by equal, and lastly, last x value is 45, followed by equal. Now, to press the frequency, we'll need to use the arrow buttons to get back to this row here, which is the first row. And we shall now input each of these frequency. To input the first frequency, we'll press 2, followed by equal, and the next frequency, we'll press 6, followed by equal, and then 13, followed by equal, 9, followed by equal, and 3, followed by equal. You can press the AC button, which is the all clear button, and this will appear on your screen. To recall, standard deviation is given by this formula here, and we will use the calculator to help us to find the summation of fx squared, the summation of f, and the mean. To find the summation of fx square, we will first press shift 1 to get this screen here and we will press 3 followed by 1 and finally equal and the summation of fx square will be 26,625. To find the summation of f, we will press shift 1 to get this screen here followed by 4 and the letter N is for the summation of S. So we'll select 1 
followed by equal and you have the submission of f to be 33 to find the mean we'll press shift 1 as well to get this screen here and we'll press 4 and this is the symbol for mean and so we'll press 2 equal and the mean is 26 point recurring 5 1 and you can round it off to 26.515 now let's input this data into the formula here and we will get the square root of 26,625 over 33 minus the mean which is 26.515 square and pressing the calculator you will have the standard deviation equals to 10.2 marks rounded off to three significant figures. Now, units is also necessary for standard deviation. You can also use the calculator to help you to double check the answer for standard deviation by pressing Shift 1 again. And we'll select 4. The symbol for standard deviation is this. And we will press 3 equal. And you can see that the standard deviation is given to be 10.2 marks as well. In this example, we have two schools, X and Y, which took the same national examination for mathematics. The standard deviation of the marks and the mean marks are given in the table below. So school X has the standard deviation of 10.2 marks and a mean of 26.5 marks, whereas school Y has a standard deviation of 9.8 marks and a mean of 27.9 marks. Using the table above, briefly comments on the marks between the two schools. In other words, we have to compare the standard deviation and the mean of these two schools. Comparing the standard deviation, you realize that school-wise marks are less spread out because the standard deviation is lower. Now, less spread out also means that it is more consistent. Comparing the mean, school-wise marks are better because the mean is higher. It means that, on average, school-wise students are scoring better and therefore school-wise marks are better if the mean is higher. In summary, the formula for standard deviation is given by this and the symbol on the calculator for the summation of fs square is given by this. The symbol for total frequency is the letter n the symbol for finding mean is given by this. And finally, you can check your answer by finding the standard deviation which is represented by these symbols here on the calculator. And that's all for this topic.